Mr. Speaker, I have the great honor of yielding three minutes to the gentleman from Massachusetts, our ranking member on the Wills Committee. The gentleman the from Massachusetts Mr. is McGovern. recognized for three minutes. I thank the general lady for yielding so I can vent a little bit. I just saw a roll call story that is reporting that Republicans are pulling their continuing resolution today to weigh more cuts. I mean, are you kidding me? I, their crummy CR contained an 8% across the board cut in almost, in almost every program that helps people. Everything from, you know, uh, medical research, uh, WIC, Head Start, housing, even border security is cut by 8%. The only thing that's exempt is the military budget, the biggest bureaucracy uh, in, our in our government. Um, they're okay with cutting fuel assistance for poor people by 65 percent. I mean, money to help people be able to heat their homes in the winter. Uh, they're okay with cutting that, uh, but believe you can't find one penny uh, in savings uh, in a missile system uh, in the Pentagon with huge cost overruns. I mean, it is pathetic. As the Republican whip said, uh, the uh, patients are running the hospital around here. Uh, the gentleman from Oklahoma said this is about a negotiation. My Republican friends can't even negotiate with themselves. Uh, and we have 11 days to go before there was a shutdown, um, and they are going in the wrong direction. It is going to become more and more difficult to get to an agreement. So enough. I mean, enough. The, the Republican leadership of this House is incompetent. I mean, they're so incompetent it takes my breath away. They're letting the clowns run the circus. It is time the Speaker of the House develop a spine and stand up to the most extreme elements on the Republican side and actually sit down and negotiate an agreement that deals with the reality of our government. The Republicans only control barely just one branch of our government, the House. The Senate's under Democratic control. The White House is run by a Democrat. You're going to have to negotiate. And you're moving in the wrong direction. Time is running out. Stop this nonsense. Get serious. Get to the negotiating table. Enough of this. I thank the gentlelady.